I just wanted to do a video on putting these two EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverters that are 5,000 watt input and very nice. They only weigh like 22 pounds. They're um, pretty easy to install. All you gotta do is up on the top, put two screws in and one screw down on the bottom. Like I said, they're not very heavy. These are only like 22 pounds. So we put one up, put the other one up. And then what we did to bring our solar in, we only have two wires coming in for each one because there's only one MPPT charge controller on each one of these. So we have our solar coming in through a 20, um, 20 uh, amp DC circuit breaker so that we don't exceed our amps on our um, PV coming in. Now we can go up to 500 volts DC on PV input, the solar panel input, but we wanna keep it below 20 amps coming in. Um, so we put a breaker in here just to be safe. So this one is for that inverter. This one is for the sol different solar array coming in for this one. This one outside, we have two 2,000 watt um, solar arrays that are eight used uh, 250 watt poly panels. And then we have all eight of those in series, the other array, eight of those in series, and then we parallel those together to bring them in. And we keep that voltage. It's only supposed to be 8.93 amps per solar panel, but we have them in series, we increase the voltage and we keep the amperage the same. So it's less than 18 amps coming actually in to the inverter. So keep that pretty, pretty low. Like I said, we have these breakers here just to protect it as well. Then we have a um, breaker for our 48 volt battery bank. So the way we wired this up was we have the negative coming in from the solar array and the positive coming in from the solar array. That runs right here, goes into that breaker, out to the solar panels. And once again, coming in from the solar panels on this array, going to that inverter, we have those 10 bifacial 400 watt up to 500 watt gain solar panels and those are 10 in series. And those are like 37.71 um, volts on those. So you basically have 372 volts coming into this inverter over here. So that's 4,000 watts up to 5,000 watts with the bifacial. And this is just 4,000 watts with those 16 um, 250 watt poly panels. So we've got 4,000 watts coming on each one, but there's a huge disparity between how little I bring. I bring in like one kilowatt on this one, and on those bifacials, we'll bring in two to three kilowatts um, when we're pulling a load. So, and early in the morning, this starts charging up my solar, my batteries really quick, as where those polys take um, probably about two, three hours later in the morning um this is like seven o'clock in the morning it starts charging up and this is like nine o'clock it'll actually start producing some halfway like 20 amps or something as where this is already producing that 20 amps at seven o'clock in the morning so those bifacials are really working well but we have the solar coming in over here once again we have our negative and our positive and then we have our um output with a 10 gauge wire here and it's also grounded up here on that screw if you can see that so we have that grounded there we have the neutral and the line goes into this breaker box and we have this bonded to the breaker box that's grounded by bonding that so we have that on that one and we have the exact same thing over here we have that ground going onto the case of the 3000 watt inverter 
and then we have the neutral and the line and those are going into this breaker panel so you have 120 coming off of this one and 120 coming off of that one going into that panel and the way we do that is we use these communication cables to parallel this so if you notice over here this black tape on this one is the bottom over on this one it's the top one if you can see that there and then the bottom one where there's no tape that's on the bottom there that's on the top over on this one so that's how you wire those up it's pretty easy you can see in there we have the it's kind of hard to see but we have the positive on this side and the negative on this side going into our battery bank so the positive goes down into this breaker, which they supply this breaker. It's a 125 amp breaker that they supply. And actually, that's not the breaker they gave me. Uh, the breaker is actually this one. I had to use that one for fixing some batteries. So they give you a Nader br uh, breaker on this. And it only goes on the positive side. It's a single pole, not a double pole. So you go from the inverter down into the breaker, from the breaker to the bus bar, and from the bus bar over to this other bus bar. And then we have the negative of the inverter going straight to the bus bar. And we have, like I said, this bus bar is connected to this bus bar. And then over here, on this bus bar only, since they're both connected, we have the... Um, from the bus bar down to the battery right here. So we have these two batteries in parallel and those are 100 amp hours each. And if you look up here, it's 198 amp hours. So we're fully charged on our batteries. 200 is the max you're gonna go. So pretty easy to do. Now the one thing that we did when this breaker box is we put a 30 amp breaker in here and that's so we can run this 18,000 BTU mini split um, that's 230 volts. So we have the 120 coming in on this leg, 120 coming in on this leg, comes in here, the 120 on one side, 120 on the other, and it's 30 amp breaker. Then we have this 15 amp breaker, comes out here and goes into this outlet over here and then this one on this 15 amp breaker goes into this outlet so pretty easy they actually give you the cables here I use some different ones but they actually give you the cables for this to connect to your breaker and then from your breaker to your battery but I use the Anderson quick disconnects on here so I already had that set up but they give you a lot of stuff. They give you the breaker, not the cabinet, but they give you that breaker. And they give you the communication wires. Like this one right here is the communication wire. And if you can see on there, let's see if I, it's the RS485 cable plug. It goes in here. It's, you can see it's like that. And that just plugs right in here comes down here comes here and that plugs right into the rs485 right there on your battery so since this is set up in parallel it doesn't matter which battery i have this on um on that cable right here this communication cable it's going to be able to show me the amp hours i'm either of these inverters because they're in parallel so pretty easy to connect you know it's um you can pretty much get everything at signature solar um except for this um conduit flexible conduit and the breaker box i got it either you can get it home depot or lowe's they're only like um 36 bucks they're not bad Breakers are probably like 15 to 20 bucks for the 30 amp and seven or eight bucks for the 15 amps each. So 
but they pretty much give you everything. You need this wire, the conduit, the box. You'll need to do your own outlets because they don't give you those. But it's a pretty nice, easy setup. So I can actually put out, if I have enough solar on this, up to 5,000 watt solar input on each one of these, that's 10,000 watts. I can put out 3,000 watts. That's 6,000 watts between the two of those. That's a huge amount to be able to put out. So these are great for running like mini splits. I'm also able to run my heat pump dryer over here. The Electrolux um, dryer, it's a um, heat pump. And this will use like 1600 to 2400 watts when that thing's running. So it'll actually do that. It will not start up my main air conditioners on my house, my three and a half ton and four ton. For that, I'm gonna need these beasts over here, these 12 kilowatt low frequency um, off grid inverters. These weigh 186 pounds, as were these weigh 22 pounds. So you gotta have that heavy coil in there to start that up. This will surge from 12,000 watts to 36,000 watts. And I even had to put a soft start on that three and a half ton and four ton heat pump to get those to start that up. But these, you're not gonna be able to do that. That's their low, their high frequency. You won't be able to do that. But um, kind of got everything kind of laid out so you can see where it goes. Um, so that if you wanna try and get these, now these are, it's around 674 bucks uh, signature solar. I'll put a link in the video for each of those. And like I said, it's, it's um, so that's less than $1,500 for the two inverters, 36 bucks for this. Um, these bus bars are gonna run you probably around 25 to 35 bucks. You need two sets of those. Um, these are like, 15 bucks for these cases. You're gonna need three of those. These breakers over here were, I think around 20 bucks a piece. These are DC breakers and those are double pole um, as where this is just a single pole. So you got the single pole is just one wire, the positive going through this. As where these double poles, you got the positive and the negative wire going through it. So it's two pole, one pole. So, you know, and, and these batteries right now, uh, these are under like $1,200, I believe, right now per um, battery. Now, the nice thing about those is there's no LED display on this, but you got the amp hours up here. So, so that pretty much gives you the display on that. As where I can't do the amp hours on here, so I need a display screen on these batteries over here where it shows me the... Um, state of charge 100 percent and also down here the state of charge on these as well these batteries are a really good deal these are like 12.99 right now those are a really good deal um those were much more a year ago so great deals at signature solar right now anyways we are an affiliate with signature solar and when you click on the links in the video description and you purchase something through there we'll get a small percentage of that sale and that helps us to be able to buy this stuff put it up test it right now we're going to be buying more few more batteries and more different solar panels we're going to get some more of those bifacials those things i'm getting three times the output of the used poly panels so if I bought three used poly panels, I'm getting the same output as one brand new bifacial solar panel from Signature Solar. So I don't have to use that space for three of those. They're the exact, they're, uh, the bifacials I think are five inches and three inches longer and taller, um, or wider and taller. So they're just a little bit bigger than the other ones but you can use one bifacial to replace three of those used poly panels that are 250. So those are 250 watt. They should give me 750 watt. Um, and the one poly is 400 watt where it can give me up to 500 watt. So 
getting a much better yield out of those new solar panels. And I'm finding the degradation on those things is, I mean, it's, it's not even putting out half the amount of watts. And I've had them for like three years. So I'm going with the newer solar panels because those used ones, they're great to start out with. And, you know, if you mess one up, they were like 30, 40 bucks versus 120 bucks, 150, 200 bucks per panel. So they're good to start out with and play with until you get your um, bearings on the solar. But uh, now I like those new ones, those bifacials. Those are awesome. They're giving me great um, input early in the morning and late in the afternoon when the sun rises and sets getting really good yields off of those anyways just wanted to do a quick video on this and show you how easy this is to set this up like i said i'll put links in the description of the products um and i hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day please like share subscribe hit that notification see you in the next video